Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we learn standard 8th science, unit 19 movements in animals. La. Book bag answer full away. Okay, wow. first choose the best answer. First one, which of the following parts of our body help us in movement? Answer A, first and third. Second one, which one of the following organisms lack muscles and is skeleton for movement? Answer B, snail. Next, third one, dash joints are immovable. Answer C. Upper jaw and skull. Next fourth one. Why do underwater divers wear fin like flippers on their feet? Answer A. To swim easily in water. Next fifth one. External ear pinna is supported by? Answer B. Cartilage. Sixth one. Cockroach moves with the help of its? Answer A. Leg. Next seventh one. Which one of the following categories of vertebrae are correctly numbered? Answer A. Cervical 7. Next, second, fill in the blanks. First one, movement of organisms from place to place is called answer locomotion. Second one, dash refers to change in position of the part of an organism's body. Answer movement. Third one, a structure which provides rich framework to the body is called dash. Answer skeleton system. Fourth one, axial skeleton in human consists of dash and dash. This is the four options. Skull, facial bones, ribs, sternum and vertebral column. Next, fifth one. Appendicular skeleton in human consists of dash and dash, pelvic, pectoral, girdle. Next, sixth one. The place where two bones meet is termed as dash. Answer joint. Seventh one. Smooth muscles is attached to soft parts of the body like blood vessels, iris, bronchi and the skin. This is cancer under the smooth Muscle. Eighth one. Dash muscle max. People of eyes divider. Answer radial. Next. Third one. State true or false. If false, correct the statement. First one. Skull in humans consists of 22 bones. Answer true. Second one. There are 12 pairs of ribs in human body. Answer true. Next. Third one. Pelvic girdle is a part of axial skeleton. Answer false. Correct statement in other. Pelvic girdle is a part of appendicular skeleton. Next, fourth one, kiss joint, slightly movable joint. Answer true. Fifth one, cardiac muscle is a voluntary muscle. Answer false, correct statement. Cardiac muscle is a involuntary muscle. Next, sixth one, the flexor and the extensor muscles of the arm are antagonistic muscles. Answer true. Next, fourth Roman, answer very briefly. First one, what is skeleton? The skeleton system provides the hard structure of framework to the human body which supports and protect the, protects the body. Second question. What is cranium? Skull has 22 bones out of which 8 bones are fixed together to form the cranium. Third one. Why our backbone is slightly movable? In answer one another. In the backbone, vertebrae are joined by gliding points which allow the body to be bent back front or sidewards. Next, fourth one. Differentiate axial and appendicular skeleton. Answer in the axial skeleton. Axial skeleton and the axial skeleton consists of the bones along the axis or sent line of the human body. The axial skeleton consists of the skull, facial bones, sternum, ribs and vertebral column. Next, appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton contains the bones in the appendages of the body as well as, as the Structure that connect the appendages to the axial skeleton. Specifically, the appendicular skeleton comprises the shoulder girdle, the arm, wrist and hand bones. The pelvic girdle at the leg, ankle and foot bones. Next, fifth question. What is ligament? A ligament is a band of strong fibrous tissue which connects a bone to a bone. Next, sixth one. Divine muscle. Muscles are long bundles of contractile tissue. The muscles in the body provide the means of all movements that cover the skeletal framework and also give shape to the body. Muscles help to maintain body posture while sitting, standing or walking. Next, seventh question. Differentiate tendons and ligament. Tendon and other. They are made of elastic tissue. They are touch muscle to a bone. Ligment, they are short bands of tough fibrous connective tissues. They connect one bone to another bone. Next, fifth Roman, 
answer briefly first one is differentiate between the following inge kuduthirukanga ma five kuduthirukanga idu ellathukume nama enna pananum differentiation paakalam enna nanadhu okay va a b c d in a five kuduthirukanga movement and locomotion endoskeleton and exoskeleton pectoral and pelvic girdle ball and socket joint and hinge joint voluntary and involuntary muscles kuduthirukanga ovvona paakalama ipa first movement and locomotion இதோ டிஃப்ரென்சஸ் என்ன மூமெண்ட் இந்த மூமெண்ட் இஸ் த ஆக்ட் ஆஃப் சேஞ்சிங் த பிளேஸ் ஆர் பொசிஷன் பை ஒன் ஆர் மோர் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பாடி இட் கேன் எதர் பி வாலண்ட்ரி ஆர் இன்வாலண்ட்ரி எ மூமெண்ட் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் அட் த பயாலஜிக்கல் லெவல் மூமெண்ட் ரெக்யர்ஸ் எனர்ஜி இதில் லொக்குமோஷன் அப்படின்னா லொக்குமோஷன் இஸ் த மூமெண்ட் ஆஃப் அன் ஆர்கனிசம் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் பிளேஸ் டு அனதர் இட் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் வேலண்ட்ரி லொக்குமோஷன் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் அட் த ஆர்கனைசம்ஸ் லெவல் லொக்குமோஷன் டஸ் நாட் நெசசரலி ரெக்யர் எனர்ஜி நெக்ஸ்ட்டு செகண்ட் ஒன் என்னது endoskeleton and exoskeleton no differentiation paakalama endoskeleton it is the skeleton that is found inside the human body it originates from the mesoderm example in the human beings next exoskeleton exoskeleton it is the skeleton found on the exterior layer of the body it is original from embryonic ectoderm or mesoderm example scales of fish feathers of birds next third one is the pectoral and pelvic girdle oda differentiation paakalama pectoral girdle it is situated in the shoulder region it gives articulation of two four four limbs the shoulder blade and the collarbone remain separate they are comparatively lighter pelvic girdle it is situated in the hip region it gives articulation to legs or kin limb three bones limb shim and pubis are fused to form a single hip bone they are strong to take up to lot of stress நெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபோர்த்து பவுல் அண்ட் ஷாக்கெட் ஜாயிண்ட் அண்ட் ஹிண்ட் ஜாயிண்ட் ஒரு டிஃப்ரென்சியேஷன் பார்க்கலாமா பவுல் அண்ட் ஜாக்கெட் ஜாயிண்ட்னா என்னது ஏ பால் ஷேப்ட் ஹெட் ஆஃப் ஒன் போன் ஆர்டிகுலேட்ஸ் வித் ஏ கப்ளைக் சாக்கெட் ஆஃப் ஆன் அட்ஜஸ் அண்ட் போன் மூமெண்ட் கேன் அக்யூர் இன் த்ரீ பிளான்ஸ் திஸ் ஜாயிண்ட் அலோஸ் த கிரேட்டஸ்ட் ரேஞ்ச் ஆஃப் மூமெண்ட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஷோல்டர் ஹிப் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஹிண்ட் ஜாயிண்ட் the cylindrical protrusion protrusion of one bone articulates with a trough shaped depression of an adjacent bone movement is restricted to one plan this joint allows bending and straightening only example elbow knee ankle next fifth one voluntary and involuntary muscles or differences in paakalam voluntary muscles na they are striated multi nucleate muscles and unbranched muscles they are attached to bones example found in arms legs they are used as per our will next involuntary muscles they are non striated single muscle central nucleus muscles they are attached to soft parts of the body like blood vessels bronchi iris skin etc they are not under our control next second question paakalama what are antagonistic muscles give one example muscles often work in pairs which work against each other these are called antagonistic pairs antagonistic muscles can be found all over the body in the iris of the eye there are two sets of muscles the radial muscles make the pupil of the eye wider while the circular muscles make the pupil smaller next third question how is the skeleton of a bird well suited for flying a bird has streamlined body its bones are light and strong they are hollow and have air spaces between them the lower portion of limbs are modified as claws which help them to walk and to perch the breast breast bones are modified to hold massive flight muscles which help in moving wings up and down birds have special flight muscles and the four limbs are modified as wings the wings and tail have long feather have long mal h a v e l o n g okay va have long feathers which helps in flying birds know show two types of flight gliding and flapping okay fourth question what are the functions of skeleton in human body the skeletal system serves five important functions in the human body it provides structure and shape to the body it supports and surrounds the internal organs of the body calcium and phosphorus the two minerals that the body needs for important regulatory functions are stored inside the bones red blood cells are produced in the bone marrow the bones of the skeletal system act as levers for muscular action ask as levels for muscular action muscular movements could not be possible with the tendons fibrous cords of this is that attached muscles to bone and ligaments fibrous cords of this is that attached bone to bone 
ओके नेक्स्ट डीटेल क्वेश्चन पाक सिक्स रोम आंसर इन डीटेल नेम द डिफ्रेंट टाइप्स आफ जॉन्ट्स गिव आन एक्सापल फार ईच जॉन्ट इत वो कालम पटकना जॉिंट को कालम पटे एक्साम टेबल कालम वन बै वन रईट पड़नों बाल अंड शाकेट ऐसा वो एक्सापल्क सोलडर कि सेकंड वन पड़ा हिंज हिंज को एलबो नी आंकल तर्ड वन पैबट स्पैन अट्ला आक्सी जॉिंट अट् द टाप नेक्स्ट क्वांट रेस्ट क्लेडिंग स्पैन बेटी दौनी प्रास द वेटिप्रे सैडल दम शोलडर अंड इन एयर नेक्स्ट पातना सेकंड कोश अब द क्यूमन आक्सियल स्क्रीट गिविंग सूटबल डेबल डयग्राम द आक्सियल स्क्रीट कंसिस्ट आफ द बोन्स अलॉंग द आक्सी आर सेट्रल लाइन आफ द क्यूमन बाडी इट कंसिस्ट आफ द स्कल फेसियल बोन स्टर्नम रेप्स अंड वेटिब्रल कालम स्कल इट इस हार्ड स्ट्रक्चर मेड आफ ट्वेंटी टू बोन्स एट बोन्स आर फिक्सड टूगेदर टू फॉर्म द क्रैनियम अंड फोर्टीन बोन्स फ्यूज टू फॉम द स्पेस इत बोन्स फोर्टी Bones B O N E S bones fused to form the base. The lower jaw is the only movable bone of the skull. Okay. Next vertebral column. It is called the backbone and run of the back of the body. It is made of thirty three individual bones called vertebrae as follows: seven cervical vertebrae, twelve thoracic vertebrae, five lumbar vertebrae, five fused. Sacral vertebrae, four fused cartilaginous vertebrae. The hollow tube of the vertebral column contains the spinal cord vertebrae or joined by the gliding points, which allow the body to be bent back, front or sideways. Okay, functions of vertebral column. In another point, the it protects the spinal cord. It supports the head. It serves as an attachment for ribs. Helps in walking, standing, erect, and posture. स्टेनम रिपेज इतना ड्रा पड़ी मारे पार्ट्स वो लेबल पड़नों ओकेवा मेरी फर्स्ट रिपोर्म कस्टल कार्टिलेज ट्वल रिप फ्लोटिंग रिप्स लवन अंड ट्वल फॉल्स रिप्स एट ट्वल टू रिप्स वन टू सेवन इट इस स्ट्रक्चर इन द चस्ट रीजियन अंड मेडअप आफ ट्वल पैर्स आफ रिप्स द रिप्स अटैच टू द वेटिब्रल कालम अट्ठ बैक अंड द ब्रस्ट बोन इन द फ्रांट देर आर ट्वल पैर्स आफ रिप्स First ten pairs are attached to breast bone. Two two pairs are called free floating ribs and are free in the front. Rib cage can contract and expand during breathing. It protects the lungs, heart, and the pots to pot to the liver. Next question, Pakla ma. Detail third question. Discuss various types of movements seen in living organism. There are three types of movements: amoeboid movement. सीरियरी मूवमेंट नेक्स्ट है ना मूवमेंट रखे मस्कुलर मूवमेंट रखे आमी बाइट मूवमेंट इस इट इस ब्रोड अबोर्ड बाय सोडा फोरिया विच और आप एंड जस विच मूव्स विथ मूवमेंट ऑफ प्रोटोप्लास्म विथ इन योर सेल्स सीरियरी मूवमेंट दिस मूवमेंट इस ब्रोड अबोर्ड बाय आप एंड जस कॉल्ड इस सेलिया विच और द हेयर लाइक Next muscular movement. It is a more complex movement which is brought about by the musculoskeletal system. This type of movement is seen in higher vertebrates. The movements brought about by the musculoskeletal system comprising of the joints, skeleton, and types of muscles. Next fourth question, Parma. What is a streamlined body? How does it help in the movement of animals that fly or swim in water? Fish have stream streamlined body structure which helps them to move smoothly with the flow of water. Muscles and fins on the body and the tail help to keep the balance. The body of a fish is streamlined to reduce friction while moving in water. They have strong muscles which helps in help in swimming. Next, when you yeah, Fish swims its front part curves to one side and the tail part stays in the opposite direction. In the next move, the front part curves to the opposite side and the tail part also changes its position to another side. The caudal or tail fin helps in changing direction. Next fifth question, ma, write a short note on different types of muscles. Can you see? Muscles found in higher vertebrates are found in three types: striated or skeletal muscles or voluntary muscles, unstriated or smooth muscles or involuntary muscles, cardiac muscles. Can you see? The muscles location is another characteristic. Can you see? The tabular column portion is another one. Striated skeletal voluntary muscles are attached to bones found in arms, legs, neck. The location characteristic is multi-nucleate unbranched voluntary. मसिल्स इन मसिल्स नम से सेकंड टाइप नॉन स्ट्रेटेड 
are smooth or involuntary muscle or location attached to soft parts of the body like blood vessels, iris, bronchia and the skin. Sing characteristic single central nucleus involuntary. Next muscle cardiac muscles location heart. Characteristics branched 1 to 3 central nuclei involuntary. Okay students in the video useful subscribe Thank you to all.